Right. Hi, I haven't done a vlog for a little while, so I thought I'd do one. I've been uh, chatting about depression quite a lot on Twitter recently and my experiences of it. And I've always used, in the eight years that I've been on Twitter, I've always used the platform to discuss male depression or depression in general. But obviously, I'm a man, I think, and uh, so therefore... You know, it's best to speak from my own experience, from a male perspective. Um, however, as it's gone along, and I've spoken to more and more people, we pretty much, we pretty much all have the same experience. And I think that's the there's the, there's a unifying um, there's a unifying element to depression that it has no it, you know, it doesn't discriminate um, on gender, race, age, wealth. You know. It is what it is. And when you get it bad, it doesn't matter who you are, you got it bad. So um, I will empathize with anybody. Uh, I can even put aside severe prejudice that I have against wealthy people and um, understand that not even money can buy you um, happiness, because it can't. Um, in fact, in my experience, and particularly where I work, I find that money probably buys you a whole lot of unhappiness sometimes. Um, so yeah, I want to use my Twitter and carry on using it to uh, highlight male depression, uh, depression in general, chronic depression. I'm, I'm lucky now because you know, the, worst, the worst days are over for me because, because of the therapy that I've had for six years and uh, I'm on medication, which I am, and it's, uh, it's good. And I've been on it for about 10, 10 years, this particular one. Um, chronic depression has engulfed my life for 20 years. So I, I feel like I've got experience and I can sort of give something back. And that's why I want to use my Twitter account now to be positive. There's a lot of negativity on Twitter. In fact, it's quite a fucking horrible place a lot of the time. It can actually make you depressed, to be quite honest with you. Sometimes you take a couple of days away from it and it's like, wow, my head has been emptied of uh, all this garbage. So my offer to people is this, that if you want to share something about your mental health or what you may be experiencing or think you may be experiencing, then go ahead, just message me privately. I and mean, despite Twitter persona, I'm actually quite a shy person and uh, a quiet person and also I'm an extremely discreet person when it comes to this, apart from my own depression, because you can't be discreet if you're going to talk about something, but um, if anybody shares anything with me, it stays in there, that's it, it's discuss with, I don't discuss it with anyone, I mean, you know, I am, uh, I would say, nine times out of ten, perfectly you know, stable, rational, Adult in the adult world, bit of a cunt on Twitter now again, but you know, that's life. Uh, it's my playground, really. But yeah, yeah, it's uh, so. Therefore, from a position of stability, I want to just be able to sort of like reach out. Fucking hell, man! I'm using all these fucking terms they use on daytime TV and shit. Reaching out, give something back. What I'm saying is, if you've got something. You want to get off your chest, just like DM me uh, and I'll discuss anything with you or if you've got a concern about somebody that you know um, and I'll see what I can do. That's it. It's no magic cure, but uh, yeah, I've got the knowledge, if you know what I mean, and, uh, and a beard. All right. So that was it. Just brief. Okay. Later.